Hey everybody, it's Debbie O'Neill of Scrap Me Quick Designs in the Let's Learn Cricut Explore Facebook group. And today I wanted to show you how do you slice an, a word out of an image in Design Space. Alright, and I'm going to show you two different ways you can do it. Um, so I'm logged into my Design Space account. I can tell that because my name's up here. And then I want to click on Create a New Project. Now, to slice, I have a couple of different videos showing you how to slice, um, and so you want to go look for those um, because I, I show you how slicing, you can do lots of different things with the slicing. What we're talking about today is actually using text in slicing images. Now, anytime you use slice, you can only slice one layer, okay? That's where people kind of get hung up when you're slicing, um, they're, they're trying to take an image that may be multiple layers and trying to slice it. You can't really do that. It needs to be a single layer. So to, for the demo purpose today, I'm going to use just an insert shape from our left menu here because those are all just single layer images. But this will work on any images as long as you do a single layer. I'm going to go ahead and pick a star and a heart. Okay, and I'm leaving these dark just so you guys can see them easier. And I'll make this one big. Now what I want to do is I'm going to go into my add text. And I want to type in the word star. Okay, when you type in a word all together, it stays as a group. Okay, if you want to ungroup that word, you can do that over here in your layers panel. Right, but I'm going to leave it grouped. However, I want this to be bigger, and I want that the letters to be longer so they fit better in the space. So all I have to do is unclick the lock here, since it's a grouped word. I'm going to unclick the lock, and now I can move this text and size it however I would like it to be. So I'm going to put it right about there, okay? Now, to be able to slice, all I need to do is go in and I already have the word highlighted. Now I'm going to use the control key and then I'm going to left click with my mouse and now it has highlighted both the word and the single layered image. And now you'll see in the layers panel that the slice feature now comes up. A lot of times people are like, well how come my slice isn't coming up? Almost always it is because you are trying to slice an image that is not a single layer. Now I will tell you that SVG files and other files, some of the JPEG files you import, they don't slice really well. So you may not get an option if you're trying to slice one of those kind of images. But any of the Cricut um, images in Design Space you should be able to slice on as long as you're trying to slice just a single layer. Okay. So now that we've got them both highlighted, both the word and the image, and now my slice is showing up here in my layers panel, all I have to do is click slice, and it goes through, and you go, oh, wait a minute, it doesn't look like it sliced it. What you need to do is you need to grab that and move it out of the way, and lo and behold, there is your word sliced out of your image. Okay, and now at this point you can size this, you know, whatever size you want it to be. So a lot of times when I'm when I'm slicing words into images, I'll make it bigger just so it's easier for me to deal with it, and then I'll make it the size that I want it to be. And of course I can go over here into my edit panel, and let's say I wanted I wanted a star that was two and a half inches. Okay, so. I, I could just go in the edit panel and change it at this point. So you can do that or you can use your, your um, you know, scroll bar here to change it. Okay, your grab bar. Um, Alright, so let's talk about a different way. So I'm going to make the heart bigger now. Just so we can see it easier. And now I'm going to go in and I'm going to add the word love. Okay. However, can you, I'm just going to move star over here out of the way. Okay. Hmm. Can you actually weld a word and still slice with it? Let's find out. So like I said earlier, when you type a word in all at once, the letters, it comes in as a grouped word. So I can go over to layers and I'm just going to ungroup the word. All right. Now my, my, now my letters are individual letters. So now I can move 
whoops, sorry, it didn't ungroup it. I didn't quite click it. Okay, so now my letters are individual and I can move them however I want them. Okay, so I'm going to just kind of lay them over on top of each other here. And actually, I want them to look a little more interesting than this. So I'm going to drop this O. I'm going to raise this one up here. And I'm slightly overlaying them. Okay. All right. Now I just want to take my cursor and draw a box around it. And in my layers panel, now the word weld is available to me. So I'm going to weld the word. It'll take just a second. And now that word is now a welded image. Okay. So it even tells you in your, in your, in your layers panel over here, it tells you that's a layered image. Okay. Just like over here, it tells you that it's a sliced image where we did the star. Okay. So now this is the layered, well, this is the welded image. It's a single layer. It's not a double layer alphabet. And what I can do is I can put that single letter word, layered word, on top of my single layered image. Do the same thing where I highlight the word, then I hit control, and I left click with my mouse. It selects both of them, and then I can hit slice. And guess what, guys? It sure works. So you can actually weld your words and then slice. The key to this is that it needs to be single layers. So single layered font and a single layer image, and you can do both. That's it. My tip for today is... Um, is to uh, show you guys how to do this. I had people asking me, they saw a project that I had made, and I said I sliced the word out, and they're like, how did you do that? So um, anyway, hopefully this is helpful to you. Um, please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you don't already do that. Give me a thumbs up for the video so I know if you liked it. If you learned something new, that's awesome. Uh, if you have any questions, leave me a, a question in the comments section. You can certainly find me at, on my blog at scrapmequickdesigns.com. And, of course, if you're not a member of our Let's Learn Cricut Explore Facebook group, please come join us. We're 16,000 members strong and growing every day, and we love to have new members come over and help, um, help be a member of the community and learn more about using your Cricut Explore. Have a wonderful day. Bye.